Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of three equations with three variables by using Kramer's rule. The very first step is, let's look at these x variables. They are nicely lined. They are nicely lined up. How about y variables? They are nicely lined up as well. And z variables are nicely aligned as well. Now let's go ahead and identify the coefficient for these variables. As you can see in the second uh, equation, the variable y has a missing coefficient. So by default, it must be 1. So we can nicely write this system of equation right up here along with their coefficients. And the right hand side, I give them a different color. And finally, in this table, we only see the coefficient of these variables nicely lined up. Now, since we want to solve this system of equation, that means we are looking for x value. We need to calculate x value. We need to find y value. And we need to find z value as well. So therefore, we can set up these x, y, and z variable in terms of these boxes on the top and the bottom. And by the way, these boxes are called the determinants of a 3 by 3 matrix. Once again, these boxes are called the determinants. And now in the next step, we have to start filling out these determinant, these boxes. And let's look at these numbers in this table on the left hand side of this equation. These numbers are going to go in all of these boxes, all of these determinants. And here, as you can see, we have nicely filled out all these boxes with these numbers. Here is our next step. Let's focus on our these right hand side column, these negative 7, 5, 0. These, this column for x is going to go all the way on the left hand side, very first column. As we go along for y, it's going to shift to the second column right up here. And for z, it's going to be in the third column far right over here. And here are these column for x. Is the, this red number showed up in the very first column. For y variable, it showed up in the second column on the top. And for Z, it showed up in the third column. And now let me go ahead and fill out these numbers by myself. On the top, it's going to be negative 7, 5, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 10, 9, negative 4, negative eight and likewise on the bottom is going to be five negative two nine negative two one negative four three negative ten negative eight and here is our final product after filling out these number and now in our next step, we are going to find the value of all these determinants one at a time. And let's start off finding the value of this determinant for x at the bottom. And here I have copied down this bottom determinant right up here. Let's go ahead and find the value of this determinant. Let me show you a really easy way to find the value of this determinant. Let's draw this horizontal line right above this last row. The very first step is let's crisscross, cross multiply 
5 times 1 is 5, put a minus sign and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Always remember you put a minus sign. 5 minus 4 is 1. This 1 is going to show up in the right hand side. Let's crisscross the next two columns. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Then always put a minus sign. And then 9 times 1 is positive 9. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So negative 1 is going to go in the opposite direction. As you can see over here. So now the next step is we are going to look at these numbers 5, negative 2. Let's copy and paste on this side 5, negative 2 right up here. Let's cross multiply 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. Then put a minus sign 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Negative 18 plus 20 is going to be positive 2. This 2 is going to show up in the middle. Let's now simplify. Let's multiply these numbers first and then we are going to add them up. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 and then negative 10 times 2 is negative 20 minus 8 times 1 is negative 8 if we simplify them that's going to give us negative 31. So that means the value of this bottom determinant for x turns out to be negative 31. And as we can see that all these determinants, these three determinants are same so that means they're going to have same value negative 31 for all three of them negative 31 and now here's the determinant that we're going to be finding the value for x on the top is i have just copied it down let's go ahead and evaluate this thing once again we're going to draw the horizontal line above the last row. Let's crisscross. Let's multiply, cross multiply, negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. Let's put a minus sign and then negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Negative 7 plus 10 is positive 3. This 3 is going to show up on this side. Let's crisscross the next two columns. So negative 2 times negative 4 is going to be positive 8 minus 9 times 1 is 9 so that's going to give us negative 1 so negative 1 is going to show up on the left hand side in the opposite direction and now let's look at these numbers negative 7 5 i'm going to copy and paste on this side let's cross multiply 9 times 5 is 45 then let's put a minus sign negative 7 times negative 4 is 28 that is going to give us simply 17 so 17 is going to go in the middle let's go ahead and multiply these numbers first and then add them up so if we multiply 0 times negative 1 is 0 minus 170 and minus 24 and if we simplify that one that is going to give us negative 194. So this value is going to show up in the top over here negative 1. 94. And now we are going to evaluate this determinant on the top which I have just copied down over here. Let's start evaluating it. Very first thing is we're going to draw this horizontal line right up here. Let's crisscross. 5 times 5 is 25. 
put a minus sign and then negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14 so that is going to give us 11 so this 11 is going to show up in the opposite side right up here let's crisscross next two columns negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28 put a minus sign right before and this is going to be 9 times 5 is 45 and that is going to give us negative 17 negative 17 is going to go in the opposite direction over here on this side and now finally let's look at this column first column 5 negative 2 let's copy and paste on this side and let's cross crisscross cross multiply 9 times negative 2 is negative 18 and then put a minus sign 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 8 negative 18 plus 20 is going to be positive 2 in the middle right here now let's simplify this thing the very first step is we are going to multiply these numbers first and then we are going to add them up so 3 times negative 17 is negative 51 and 0 times 2 is plus 0 and minus 88 and if you simplify this thing that is going to give us negative 139 that means this negative 139 is going to show up right on the top for y variable and finally here i have copied down the last determinant the top part of z right up here let's evaluate this determinant once again we draw the horizontal line first and then let's crisscross five times one is five put a minus sign negative two times negative two is positive four that's going to give us one one shows up in the opposite side let's crisscross negative two times five is negative ten put a minus sign negative seven times one is negative seven negative 10 plus 7 is going to be negative 3 which shows up in the left hand side and finally we are going to copy and paste this very first column on the right hand side and crease across this one 7 negative 7 times negative 2 is going to be positive 14 put a minus sign 5 times 5 is 25 that is going to give us negative 11 that is going to show up in the middle let's go ahead and first we are going to multiply these numbers right up here and then we are going to add them up so 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 and then this become positive 110 and plus 0 if we simplify this one that is going to give us 101 so the value of this top determinant turns out to be a 101 so that's our x value turns out to be when you divide these one these negative and negative they are gone so we ended up with 194 over 31 likewise negative 139 divided by negative 31 negative signs disappear we got 139 divided by 31 and finally z value is negative 101 divided by 31 and that is our answer and finally here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own now you can take your time luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye